Hi, I'm Kyle Bradbury, and today I'm talking to you about the, the SPIDER integrated development environment for Python. So first of all, what is an integrated development environment? It's a place that brings together a number of programming tools all into one, one location, and those tools work together in an <laughs> integrated way. So you know, where we want to start off with is, is talking about you know, when would you want to use this tool? Well, I think for most projects, this is going to be your go-to place. Uh, you can go here, you can grab files from, you know, that are downloaded from different locations. You can copy and paste text in. You can write your own code. You can run things on the IPython shell, which we'll talk about in a moment. This is going to be the place that you go to for, for most of your uh, Python work. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started with Spider. So first of all, to open it up, create an, you know, open up a terminal window, number of terminal uh, uh, emulators out there. Go ahead and, and use, use whatever you'd like. Um, and you just... To start it, you simply type spider and hit enter. And what you will see is that will bring up your spider, uh, your spider uh, window. And so here, uh, what you'll immediately notice is that there are a few different components to it. So here on the left, you have your text editor. Um, on the upper right, you have you know, what's currently hiding the variable explorer. And you can also use that as your file explorer to, uh, to look at you know, these, these different uh, files that you have on your system. You can create new files and folders, etc. Um, so that's all available right there for you. And in the bottom right is the IPython console. So this is where you can actually type command line tools um, and you know, to, to command line um, uh, uh, values. Um, and it, it will print things you know, out on the command line and you can in, interact with this like you would any other Python shell. Uh, so, so with this, you know, what, what you want to start off with, you know, if, if we were talking about this, is you can you know, put some variables on here. You know, x equals 5. Great. y equals 6. Excellent. Um, and of course, if you said x times y, well, that's going to be 30. Okay, so, you know, you can interactively code in this uh, particular in environment. And so the, the nice thing, though, is, and this is really what, what makes a spider particularly helpful, if you go up to the variable explorer here, you can see you have your x variable at 5 and y variable at 6. If I change x to be 99, well, that updates this x value here. This is a window into what your variables you know, your x's, your y's, whatever they're going to be, uh, what, what those values hold. It also tells you what type of, of um, you know, what data type they are, in this case, integers, int, and the size of them. So I could create a little list here, you know, of, of you know, two integers together. And now you can see that x is transformed into a list. It's size of two. There are two entries in it. And you can see what those entries are. So, so this you know, allows you to do a lot of powerful stuff right here interactively on the command line. Now, of course, if you wanted to go back and rerun all of this code, well, you have to type it again, x equals 5, you know, y equals 6, and then x times y, um, or you can hit the up arrow to cycle through those things. But to, to do that on, you know, multiple lines, it's, it's a little bit cumbersome. It'd be nice to be able to you know, take all those commands, put them in one place, and rerun it again and again. Well, we can do that exactly over here in, in, the, um, in the text editor. So we have a file here called Hello World. So this does something a little bit different than working with the X and the Y values. This uh, prints the line, Hello World, and then it prints another line, It's a Beautiful World. Um, so if I go ahead and run this, I can run this code right here instead of typing it into the console by clicking this button. And you can see, hello world, it's a beautiful world. Wonderful, wonderful. So this lets me rerun it just by hitting this button as long as I have this text file open. So I can go ahead, hit it, and you can see multiple times it's popping up here. Very useful, very useful tool here. So another way to run a file, so let's go back to our file explorer. So this one is called hello world. It's this hello world.py. So uh, you can use what are known as magic commands um, 
the percentage sign and then a word allows you to activate these. These are just helpful tools for this IPython console. And so you can do percentage run and then type in your, uh, the file that you wanna do. So let's say, hello world. And so I could type in the whole thing, but another convenient thing of the IPython console, which, which you know, makes it so useful is if I hit tab, oh, it finds and tries to auto-complete things for me. Auto-completion, very, very useful here. So if I you know, run this line by hitting return, beautiful. Well, literally in this case, it's a beautiful world. Um, so, so with this, you can see a lot of, uh, of power here in, 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 this, in, in this particular uh, tool. So let's say instead here, I wanted to just run a subset of the code. Maybe I just want to run this line, hello world. Now I could copy it and then paste it over here and hit enter and I get hello world. Um, but another way of doing that, I can just go over here, highlight it, and then use this command run selection or current line, and voila, it, it runs that just that segment of code directly for me. So lots of, of, of useful, useful tools within, within this area here. Now, inevitably, <laughs> we will have errors in our code. It's, it's you know, something that, that happens. It's part of the development process. That's okay. Uh, the nice thing about Spider is it helps you to debug them. So let's open up another file. So I have another file here called debug. I'm going to double click that and open that up. And I'm going to make that a little bit uh, bigger so you can, you can view that. And so you can see this is a little debugging demo script. There's, there are a number of variables, <clears throat> each of which of these are strings. So these are, and a space after it is the first string, and then second, third, fourth, and it prints the concatenated set of strings. So let me just go ahead first and run this so you see what this looks like. I hit run file, and these are not the blah, blah, blah you were looking for. Oh, that's a weird thing in there. You can imagine this would be something that I wouldn't want to have in there. I you know, had some sort of a typo going on. Okay, well, how can I debug it? Well, I know what the problem is. I go up here, first, second, third, and it's, this is wrong. But, you know, imagine if this was a particularly long line of code, you know, a long set of code, lots and lots of lines that, that needed to be uh, reviewed. The other thing I could do here is debug this code, which, me, which allows me to do things in one of two ways. The first is just step through this line by line. So here in, in the, the debug tools, I can click this debug file button. And what this will do is this will start to execute the script. You can see we're at the very beginning of the file after the comments at the top. Um, and I can line by line step through this file. So here I go, I use this run current line uh, uh, button here, and it's going to bring me to the next line of, of active code, which is going to be this line first here. So I click this button and this tells me, oh yeah, I'm at first and it's about to execute this line. Okay, great, that's, that's fine, I'll step in again. Second, um, and this is at not that, well, you know, you're looking at this and okay, it's walking through this code, but how do I see it all? Oh uh, yeah, remember the variable explorer. So let me go back here. Um, ah, well this is something that's important to see. I've, I've left all my variables from my last session here. Well, this is not good. Let's start this over. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my debugging and I'm going to run the reset command and this will clear all my variables if I say yes. I say yes, they're gone and let me have a fresh terminal here. Clear, I type clear and enter in and now, now I'm good to go. So let's, let's start this again. So we're gonna go here and hit debug file and step in. So first, ah, now I see I've just run the this line which which uh, instantiates this first uh, uh, variable here. And I can walk through second, and it has not the, and then I can uh, go ahead once again into third, and ah, there's my problem right there. So I could go ahead here and interactively type third equals what I wanted it to say, droids. Any Star Wars fans out there would uh, probably uh, recognize this particular line. And so I can hit enter. And if I continue execution now, 
I can continue on and print it out the statement and you see what it printed out here. These are not the droid you are looking for. Well, that's, I <laughs> wanted that to be plural, but you get the idea of what was going on here. So, so this is a, is a powerful debugging tool that lets me step through. Now, okay, that was a bit cumbersome. What if I knew the problem was here and just wanted to, to stop it at this value? Well, I can double click here on the side and this puts this little dot in. And if I go ahead and now run this file, uh, I can go ahead and run. And then I say, okay, continue until you, until you get to this point here. That's what this button does. Voila. And it, it gets me to this point where it's third. And I can, I can run that line and see, oh yeah, third is, is the error and I can fix that. Okay, well, now I've, I've learned enough from this. Let me clear this breakpoint. I can close this out and I can fix this to droids and my program. If I save this now, um, I can, by hitting con Command S or Control S, depending on what, you're, what system you're using, run file and voila, these are not the droids you are looking for. Excellent. A ominous but wonderful uh, uh, point in the, the movie Star Wars. So uh, th there is one more topic that's worth talking about here. And so that's if, what if your, your program gets stuck? It happens. Um, so let's go back to the file explorer. I have another, another file here called infinite loop. Um, and so what this does is basically just continues to print this looping text. So if I run it, oh dear, oh dear. It's just running, 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 running. Well, this is problematic. Well, fortunately uh, in the IPython console here in Spider, there's this red dot which stops the current command. I hit that and it interrupts it. Another thing you can do if, if you're operating in other, other uh, environments is often hit control C uh, to do that. But that this for convenient button helps stop, prevent these infinite loops. So this is helpful if you're, if you're in an infinite loop or your, your program is just taking too long and you want to uh, abort it. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and, and talk about one last topic which is uh, working with plots in, in Spider. So let's go ahead and create a new file. We're gonna call it create plot.py. Okay, and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. And let's say we had some interesting plotting code. I'm gonna go to a, another website. We can copy and paste it in. This could be from, imagine you were just trying things out from your, from your assignments or whatnot. Uh, so you can copy and paste that in, in here. And so I'm going to save this, this file. Now don't worry about if, if this code doesn't make sense to you. You're going to work through that through the course of uh, th this course. But uh, what you want to be able to see is you can create plots with Spider. Uh, so again, this is plot some plotting uh, code using NumPy and matplotlib. And I, if I hit run here, beautiful, a plot appears. I have all this stuff here. I could save it as a file. Um, I can zoom in if I want to zoom in on a part of a plot. I can move it or move around, you know, to look at different sections of it. So this is quite interactive. Many tools here. If I want to go back to the original view, I just hit this home button here. So lots and lots of functionality here. Um, go ahead and you know begin using Spider for. Uh, for the course, and I think you will find that this will be a helpful tool uh, to to you know really aid in in uh, your your Python development and coding skills.